Hello again and welcome to the Bex EDM YouTube channel. I've been working on my MK2 realization and made some nice progress. But before I dive into details, a announcement. In part 15 of the MK2 build series, I mentioned that there were going to be more custom EDM builders on YouTube. And now I'm happy to announce that another builder has joined the club and released his first video of a full series in which he will cover a complete wire EDM build in detail with the BX-17 arc generator. So his name is uh, Warner Berry and Warner is really skilled in electromechanical machine design and next to that his practical fabrication skills really blew me away. His uh, YouTube channel features some pretty impressive projects like his BerryBot 3D printer and the robotic arm. And now Werner is going to tackle a wire EDM build. Now what's really cool is that he is uh, taking the MK2 Bex EDM design and he's changing it to fit his own needs. So the Bex EDM design is fully metric which causes some problems for obtaining stock material and some components if you are located in the USA. So uh, Werner is making an imperial version of the Bex EDM design and he's also changing some components such that uh, they are easier to source over there. Next to that, he's also adding some features to the mechanical design. Now, in his first video, uh, he already takes you through his CAT model and his attention to detail and solutions is absolutely top-notch. So you definitely need to uh, check out and subscribe to his channel as judging from his work, his wire EDM is going to be amazing. Really, if you have subscribed to Bex EDM, you definitely need to subscribe to Warner too. Okay, that's it for the announcement. Let's have a look at the progress of my MK2 build. Uh, first, let me take you to the Fusion 360 model to show the parts that I've finished since last video. Okay, here's the latest greatest design. As you can see, uh, some things changed, mainly the tank. Uh, the tank has been changed such that it can be uh, manufactured more simply. Initially, I had separate sections that all needed to be welded up together. Um, now I changed that uh, because now it's more a sheet metal bending project and I only need to weld up the edges. Um, so the tank design has been finished, um, but lately I have been focusing on the main frame here. That's the, uh, the frame at the bottom. And I also looked into the uh, workpiece table. So this section here. Those are the parts that have been finished now. So I also changed the frame slightly, I changed the uh, dimension, I made the material a bit thicker, 3 millimeters instead of 2, and the height is a bit shorter now, it's 18 millimeters high instead of 100. Just making it a bit more compact. Okay, let's uh, have a look at, uh, at the frame. Okay, it's time to start working on the frame. Here's the uh, stock material. It's uh, 18 millimeters wide and 40 millimeters thick. I've already cut the uh, stock material to length, and um, as cutting is not nice and inaccurate, I purposely cut it over length and then I machined the ends uh, uh, nice and perpendicular. So now it's time to drill a lot of holes and after that we can start uh, cleaning them up and uh, start the welds. Okay, so I drilled a lot of holes for the supporting legs and supporting the X and Y axes. That's all in place now. And I've mocked the, uh, the frame up. It looks good, everything fits nice. So now it's time to uh, descale and clean the whole thing and then get it tacked and welded up. Okay, everything is clamped and uh, cleaned and uh, yeah, so sanded the sides and uh, cleaned it with the isopropanol. Now it's time to uh, start tacking and welding. Alright, welding is finished. So now it's time to thoroughly clean and degrease everything and then uh, we can paint. 
Okay, so after painting, here's the uh, finished result of the frame. So uh, normally I uh, spray paint steel like this, but um, yeah, spray painting I always do that outside, and the weather was pretty bad. So I decided to use normal paint instead, and it did not turn out as nice as I hoped to. As uh, I used these roller, such a roller, but it was letting off, it was letting off fibers. And now the fibers are in the paint, so I might need to uh, sand it and repaint it again. But uh, yeah, you get a good impression of uh, what the frame turned out to look like. So. so after the frame I started work on the uh, workpiece table. Let me turn off the tank here. So here's the workpiece table. It rests on three stainless steel supports. And the supports have an o-ring in the bottom. And uh, yeah, the uh, table is constructed from two pieces of uh, three or four stainless alum uh, stainless steel, and uh, they're bolted together by uh, two bolts here and on the corner. So uh, let me hide this part here to uh, elaborate a bit on uh, the adjustability of the table. So let's see, I hide this. Okay. So the uh, table rests rests on uh, this um, ceramic washer, uh, such that it is uh, isolated from the spherical washer that's underneath here. So the uh, the table is uh, fixed by two spherical washers, so that if you raise or lower uh, this nut, you can adjust the uh, the height of the table. And as you can do that in three individual points, you can um, al align the uh, Rx and uh, Ry uh, of the workpiece table uh, relative to the EDM wire, which is really important. And uh, so you, yeah, you adjust the uh, the height of the individual points with a nut, and then you uh, when the uh, when the height is correct, you secure the nut with the the top nut. And then you snap on a 3D printed cap that prevents uh, pieces that are cut free from the EDM uh, cutting process to fall into the hole. Otherwise, it would create a short, which is not nice. Um, so, uh, yeah, the spherical washers and the ceramic washer, those are all, all OEM parts sourced from uh, Misumi. And this is a, this is a custom part. Okay, now uh, let's have a look at uh, how this turned out. So here's the uh, new workpiece table, according to the latest design. It's uh, fully made from 304 stainless steel, and I'm really happy how it turned out. So it has uh, two machined edges that allow you to align the workpiece to the table uh, for the X as well as the uh, Y direction. And it has a lot of uh, tapped M5 holes, so you can clamp the workpiece to the table. It uh, consists of two pieces, and the, those are simply uh, bolted together. Okay, here's uh, one of the supporting feet, one of th three. And as you can see, there's an O-ring in the bottom. And uh, as the uh, supporting feet is screwed against the bottom of the tank, the O-wing prevents uh, water from leaking out. Now, uh, on top of the uh, supporting feet in between the, the workpiece table, there is the uh, ceramic washer. And on top of that, uh, let me see if I can focus here. There is a spherical washer. Um, so you can use it to uh, yeah, put the table at, a, at an angle. The spherical washer goes on top of that. And then, yeah, in between the uh, the threaded rod and the spherical washer inside diameter, there will be a, a plastic bush, uh, just like I showed in the uh, cat model. And yeah, that uh, then completes the assembly, also with a top spherical washer and a nut. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, some nice progress on the mechanics, but by far most of my time I spend uh, working on software and electronics for this EDM project. So at the moment I'm working on the uh, CR controller 
adding features to the software, perfecting it, debugging it, things like that. And in parallel, I'm also working on um, yeah, the electronics. So this is the uh, latest revision, revision 0 0.1. 1.0 uh, I should say and um, yeah these are the pro uh, the prototypes so I'm uh, assembling them by hand and after assembly I will test it and thoroughly test it and if everything is a-okay then um, I'm going to start to uh, see if I can find a, a supplier that can do the assembly at low cost because uh, I've had some quotes from uh, suppliers and I'm not really happy with the uh, the pricing because yeah you know these boards are really uh, cheap to populate if you do it in high volume but I'm looking for a cheap alternative in low volume and that is a bit harder um, and yeah well if it, tur if it turns out I cannot uh, get it cheap enough at low volume then um, yeah if the pricing in the web stop in the web shop is still too high of course there are two options so then you also have the option to populate the board yourself um, yeah, so uh, that's an update on that. Okay, that's it for uh, this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Lots of more videos about the MK2 build coming up. But uh, don't forget to subscribe to Warner Berry's channel. Because his build is also going to be amazing. The link's down in the description. See you next time.